All right, so today it is actually my last Accutane update. So wild. I can't believe it's been six months. So if you're new here, I've been on Accutane for six months. I was on 60 milligrams. I did updates every couple months. So I do have a playlist down below that I'll link that has all of my acne related videos. I have a whole acne story before I started Accutane so you can see where I was coming from, what I've tried in the past, my skin history, and what my skin looked like back then. So if you're just Stumbling across this video, I would definitely go check out my acne story video first, and then you can kind of go through and see the progress in those other update videos. But this is my last one. I'm now off of Accutane. I've been off of Accutane for about a week when I'm filming this. I've done my last blood test, so I'm gonna kind of walk through everything. Products I'm using on my skin now to help with scarring. I'm going to show you the progress photos over the last six months and also answering all of your questions from Twitter. So if you're excited for this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. This also isn't going to be my last Accutane related video. I have a couple other ideas of things that I want to do just surrounding the topic of Accutane and acne in general. So those videos will be coming, but all of my acne related videos are down below in that playlist. Gonna throw this out there like I do in every single Accutane video. Accutane is a very serious drug. You're not just gonna get on Accutane if you have a couple zits. Accutane is a last resort kind of drug if you've been suffering for acne for a long period of time and you've tried multiple things. I didn't take this decision lightly to go on Accutane. Neither should you. You should do your own research, figure out if it's something that's right for your body and your health. So I'm not advocating for Accutane. I'm just sharing my experience. Let's just get into it. It's actually hello early right now. What time is it? It's 7.49 on a Sunday. I've been up since 6.20, I already got Starbucks. Don't know why I'm so alive right now. So right now I am off Accutane. I've been off for about a week. I've done my last blood test. All I have to do is go back in a month and pee in a cup to get a pregnancy test. So first off, here's my skin. Keep in mind that this lighting is a bit more flattering. So I did get a clip in natural lighting because I wanted you guys to be able to see. But here's a clip in natural lighting. My acne is completely gone. Nothing is on my skin right now. All I have on is a face moisturizer, no makeup, no concealer, nothing. But I'm gonna insert some progress photos right here. I don't think I can fit all of them on one screen, but I'm gonna show you before starting Accutane and then a couple shots in between. I think it was in the last check-in where I was still getting like a zit every now and then, just every like few weeks, like one little zit. And I don't think I've had a zit in a couple months, like since I last told you guys. My two main things are acne scarring and redness, but redness has actually, I feel like even gone down since I've been off it. And the dermatologist said it would take a few weeks for the redness to go away, but Accutane does give you a majorly red face sometimes. And that definitely happened to me. That was kind of throughout the whole thing, but I feel like it's gone down a lot since being off it in a week. When I go outside, and like I said, it looks better in this lighting, but when I go outside, my face is actually quite a bit like darker, almost like more tan than my neck, which is weird. It almost looks like I have like a self tanner on. Not a big deal at all. The scarring since the last check-in, I feel like has gone down a lot and the dermatologist noticed that too. I was actually talking to her about treatments and stuff, which I'll talk about because that was one of the questions from you guys, but we're talking about different skin treatments to try and she actually said she doesn't recommend microneedling for me or anything like that because my scarring isn't that bad. Like it's actually faded a lot and I attribute that solely to rosehip oil. I've mentioned this in the last few update videos. I swear by this thing. I've been using this for how long now? Maybe four months, three months, at least three months. And this has majorly helped my scarring. So if you have acne scarring, this is super affordable. I wanna say it's around 10 bucks. Give this a couple months to really work its magic and do its thing. I'm gonna talk more about the products that I'm using now towards the end of this video. So the results from my last blood test came back totally normal. My cholesterol was still a little bit high, but like I've said, my cholesterol is high to start with. So it wasn't up to the highest point, which I think was, what was it, 240, 246 or something. Then it came back down thanks to milk thistle, exercise and eating healthier. And I've been still doing all of those things. So I think a combo of all of that has helped. But everything else on the blood test came back totally good. We're good to go. I think I'm actually just gonna go into the questions because it'll just help sum up all my thoughts, you know? Okay, so Daniela says, on a scale of one to 10, how happy are you with your results? Honestly, I feel like I'm like, and 11, <laughs> I I don't know what I thought I was expecting. Like I said in the first video, I actually watched my acne story back the other night, which was really trippy, not only to see my skin, but to just like see where I was at with the whole thing. And I think I said I was going into it, hoping for the best, but being ready for the worst because that's been my experience with medication. I'm on a lot of medications for chronic pain and everything. And I just have never had a medication actually work like this. So I think that's just been like the coolest thing for me. But as far as my results and everything, 
I don't know if I was expecting to like totally have my acne cleared. Since I was going into it with that mindset where I was just kind of like almost ready for it not to work because that's easier to go into something not having your hopes like up here. You know what I'm saying? I kind of was just like, okay, we're gonna try this. If it works, it works. If not, I have acne. I think going into it with that mindset kind of helped because now I'm just not only shocked with the results, but I just, I don't think I've ever seen my skin like this. Last time I saw my skin like this, I think was before I was even a teenager. It just feels so nice to like feel my skin and feel good about my skin. Vanessa says, were you afraid of the side effects that can possibly happen with the process? Yeah, I for sure was. Like I said, I kind of was ready for the worst. There are some horrible side effects from Accutane, which is why, again, don't just watch my videos and go on Accutane. This is a drug that you need to do research on. There are very serious mental health side effects to it. There are a lot of horrible side effects to Accutane. I am super grateful because I feel like I had such an easy overall Accutane experience, which again, I was not expecting. As far as side effects, it's basically just all of the ones that you have heard already, nothing has changed in the last two months since my last update. Eczema, dryness, redness, and then joint pain. My joint pain I do feel has gotten worse in the last six months for sure. I didn't have a lot of back pain before Accutane and now I definitely do. I actually have quite a bit of back pain, but as someone who wakes up every morning feeling shitty anyways from other health stuff, it hasn't really impacted my life in a way that I think it could if you don't have that to start with. So basically I just have more pain, <laughs> but it is supposed to kind of get better and go away as you get off the pill. So I'm not super concerned about it. Do I get more sore after I work out? For sure. Do I have more overall pain? For sure. Do I feel like sometimes I'm 90 years old? Yes. It's not like a deal breaker to me where I wouldn't do it again. Cassie asked an interesting question. She said, what will you miss most from Accutane? I will miss not having to wash my hair for a few days. Saves a ton, saves a ton of time. What will I miss most about Accutane? I think what I'm going to miss is just having the assurance, I guess, that as you're taking the pill, your acne isn't going to come back. And now that I've stopped taking the pill, obviously there's that wondering if it's going to come back. And a bunch of you guys asked that question is, is my acne going to come back once I'm off Accutane? I can't see into the future, so I have no idea. Hopefully not, obviously, but some people do have to go on Accutane two times, three times. I don't think you can go on Accutane more than three times. Your body would be like destroyed. I'm just crossing my fingers that I won't have to go on Accutane a second time, that my skin will just stay like this. My mom was also on Accutane in her 20s and she only had to do it one time and her acne just completely stayed away. And that's the case for most people. A lot of people do have to go on a second time, but I'm just hoping that I won't have to and my acne will stay away. So I have no idea if it's gonna come back. Hopefully it won't. Other than that, I don't think I'm gonna miss anything. <laughs> Taylor says, all in all, was it worth it? Do the pros outweigh the cons? I'm seriously debating going on it. I'm almost 25 with brutal acne and scarring and like you have tried everything. I don't even like leaving my house. But speaking from my own personal experience, for me, it was 150% worth it. I would do it again in a second, but that's just speaking from my experience with it and my side effects. A lot of people go on Accutane, have horrible side effects, and I'm sure they wouldn't say the same thing. Where I was coming from, being in my mid-20s with severe acne for 10 years, yes, I would totally do it again. America says, when did you really start noticing a difference in your skin? I've been on it for three months and I still break out. I feel like my progress is so slow. That's something that's totally different for everyone. I think if you go back to my first update video, I think I said within like a couple weeks, my skin started clearing up. Take everything I say with a grain of salt because I really feel like I had the best possible Accutane experience. I didn't have a purge phase, which is where your skin gets worse before it gets better. I felt like mine started clearing up within the first couple weeks and then it just kind of progressively got better from there. But I do know that a lot of people, it takes a couple months or even three months before you start seeing your acne clear up. So I wouldn't like totally discount it. Hopefully you'll see results. Another question from Daniela, she says, is Accutane considered a cosmetic medication? Does insurance cover any part of it? So it just depends on your insurance, I'm pretty sure. But my insurance did cover part of it. But when I hit the new year, it went way up so I pay a lot out of pocket for Accutane but again for me it's worth it especially if you just think about how many skincare products you've purchased over the years how many acne medications you purchased over the years it all adds up and so to do this one time it totally makes sense if you have the money available hopefully your insurance will cover more than mine did okay Shelby says are you nervous about your skin going back to normal after Accutane acne and oily skin that's one of my biggest fears being on Accutane myself right now there were a lot of questions like this about, is my skin gonna go back to oily? So my skin has been obviously super dry for the last six months. I didn't have 
really, really bad dryness and I solely attribute that to the products I'm using. I have a whole video on my Accutane skincare routine. So if you wanna know every single product that I've been using throughout this process and I still use those products and I still 110% recommend them. Like I said, don't know the future. So I have no idea if my skin is gonna be normal, if it's gonna stay dry, if it's gonna go back to oily. But if I could choose, I would definitely have dry skin. Makeup is so much easier with dry skin than it is with oily skin. It stays on your face. I kinda wanna do a video talking about like the pros and cons or just different tips and things that I've found with oily skin versus dry skin now that I've had both. Megan says, why did you stop Accutane the first time and do you feel confident stopping it now? So this is my first time. I've never been on Accutane before. I didn't... I didn't go on it and stop, I just never did it. I've been to different dermatologists in the past about Accutane, like getting consultations, and I just never went through with it because I felt like I, it wasn't the right time. I was either traveling a lot, I couldn't commit to the monthly blood tests, it was summer, there was just a lot of things going on. I just finally did it this time because it was the right season of the year. Because Accutane makes your skin so sensitive in the sun, if I was doing it again or recommending like timing for someone who was doing it. I would say start when I did. I actually think that was perfect timing. I started in October and I just finished. I would definitely not want to do Accutane during the middle of summer. You can get fried on Accutane because your skin is so much more sensitive to the sun and it's just going to be so much more uncomfortable and stuff. So if you can time it so you don't hit it during summer, I would definitely do that. But yeah, so this is my first time. Never been on Accutane before. Hopefully my only time. Dextra says, wondering how you deal with red skin issues. I have very red cheeks and no idea what to do about it. So it just kind of depends on like the makeup look I'm doing. Obviously, if I'm doing my full on makeup, I usually use kind of a fuller coverage foundation because that's just what I like. But if I'm just running errands, I'll usually just put on some kind of like tinted moisturizer because I don't want it to look like I'm wearing makeup. I just want the redness toned down. So I'll usually use something like the Jouer Skin Tint or I'll just use any foundation and just put on the tiniest bit and put a little bit on my hands. I'll even maybe sometimes put a little oil in there and just kind of like blend it over my redness so it doesn't look like I have makeup on and I'm using like the tiniest amount, but I can still cover the redness. So that's kind of what I've been doing if I just want to cover it, but I don't want to put on a shit ton of makeup. Haley says, what's the first thing that you're going to do that you couldn't do well on it? Uh, I'm about to go out and celebrate. I can't find it now, but there was also a question about drinking if I was drinking on Accutane. Since Accutane can be really rough on your liver, the milk thistle helps a lot. So if you are planning on drinking, check with your pharmacist and stuff. Don't just go buy milk thistle. But for me, I feel like that really helped. I don't drink a lot to start. If I do drink, I literally usually have about one drink because it makes my head so much worse. I'm not a big drinker, so it wasn't like too rough or anything, but it is nice now being able to go out. And if I want to have a night, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about it and I can just do it. Macy says, was it worth it? And how do you feel about yourself now versus six months ago? There was a lot of questions about this, just self-confidence and just how has my whole I guess mindset about my skin changed in the last six months. I talked about this a lot in the last update video, but I just had acne for so long that I got so used to it. And I feel like I got to a point where it didn't really affect my confidence a whole lot because I just, it was my skin and it was who I was for so long that you just have one choice and that's to live with it and to embrace it, you know? But I did not realize how bad it was because I just got so used to seeing myself like that. So now looking back on old footage, it just kind of hits you. It's just insane to see. I didn't realize how bad my skin was. I think it just overall feels good that A, obviously I don't have acne on my face anymore, but also B, it's just not a topic of conversation anymore in my life. For years it has been with my family, with random people, with strangers on the internet, with everything. So it just feels really good that that's not one of the first things people see when they look at you. And I feel my age now, which is a weird thing to say, but I feel like having acne in your mid 20s is a really weird experience because people, I think, just associate having bad acne to like being a teenager and stuff. And now that my skin is more clear, I just feel, I don't know, I just feel more myself. Ooh, Thank you, Catherine. Good thing to bring up. She says, did you experience any dry eyes and how did you deal with it? So that's actually my biggest change. I would have totally forgot to mention this. Between the four month and six months, my last update, my dry eyes have gotten a lot worse. I probably put in eye drops about three times a day now. Link the eye drops I use down below, which really help. But also my eyes get really, really red. Since I've been off it, they've already been getting a little bit better. Is there anything you would do differently to prepare your skin for the process? I actually think the products I ended up using throughout this thing just worked amazing for my skin. If you're starting Accutane, I would definitely say moisturize the crap out of your skin and your lips and everything before you actually start because 
because I feel like that made a huge difference. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why I didn't get super, super dry. Aquaphor healing ointment in the tube. It's in that video, but that has been a lifesaver. I use that literally about 10 times a day. That's a nice segue into what I'm using right now. So I'm using all the same products, but now that I'm off Accutane, I have been so into skincare. Okay, wait, so products and then treatments and stuff. So my dermatologist actually said that I could do any kind of treatments pretty much a week after, which I was shocked. I literally thought it was gonna be six months because that's what I've read. And she said there have been new studies coming out that you don't have to wait six months at all. You can just wait about a week or two, obviously depending on your skin. I've noticed that my skin actually is totally fine with like AHAs and BHAs. I started using those on the last week on Accutane. I did that she mask like you guys saw in the Whole Foods video. I also used another AHA a couple times and my skin felt totally fine. It didn't feel overly sensitive or anything. But as far as getting my Permanent brows touched up. I thought I was gonna have to wait six months for that and she said I don't so I'm just waiting until July when I'm back in San Diego and I'm gonna do my brow touch up then but as far as any kind of laser treatments I want to get my whole body lasered like I want hair removal so she said I don't have to wait a long time for that facials anything she said it's like free-for-all right now so Okay, since being off Accutane, I'm slowly incorporating different kinds of AHAs, BHAs, lactic acids into my skincare routine just to help smooth everything, get rid of texture, get rid of the scarring, brighten up my complexion. So a few things I've been using. So this one I showed in a vlog, the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. I liked this one. I did feel like it made my skin soft. It has 25% AHA, 2% BHA. It's just a treatment. So you leave it on for 10 minutes, wash it off. 10 minutes or 20 minutes? 20 minutes. This one's 20 minutes. This one by The Ordinary again is 30% AHA, so a tiny bit stronger and it has 2% BHA. And this is a 10 minute exfoliating facial it's called. Basically both of these are like chemical peels. And this one I loved. I feel like I actually noticed more of a difference with this one than I did with the Drunk Elephant one. I showed it on Snapchat, but my skin had that like glassy look to it. It just looked like so tight and smooth, but both worked great just depending on what your budget is and everything. This one is definitely under 15 bucks. This one is like, really expensive. I think this is 80 bucks or something around there. Also been starting to use this PCA Skin Smoothing Toner. This is a brand that a lot of dermatologists carry. I actually was on Derm Store and I was just reading a ton of reviews on different products and this one got really good reviews. This is a lactic acid, so it does give you that burn at the beginning, but I've just been slowly starting to incorporate these things into my skincare routine. Once I have a routine that I really like and that I feel like I've seen a difference with after a couple months, I'll do a video on it. But I'm just like in the beginning stages of trying those right now, so I just wanted to mention them. Oh wait, my eczema has been a lot better thanks to a recommendation from you guys, the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream in a tub. Have been using it on my face, I've been using it on my body. I'll talk all about it in an upcoming Rays and Rejects video. That is like my holy grail body moisturizer of the past couple months. It has just totally gotten rid of my eczema. It honestly is like an eczema miracle worker. I haven't had to use the steroid cream at all from the dermatologist. I actually didn't use that at all throughout my entire Accutane. So I think that's everything. I think this wraps up my Accutane update videos. If you've enjoyed this whole Accutane series and found it helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I just wanna say I really appreciate all of your comments, messages, everything the last six months. I've just felt overwhelming support from you guys and I just think it's so cool that a lot of you have been with me throughout the entire thing with my older videos and then up until now it's just so cool to know that some of you guys have been there with me throughout the whole thing so if you're going on Accutane I hope you have a healthy and positive experience again do your own research watch tons of videos don't just watch mine do some googling talk to your dermatologist talk to your pharmacist but i love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye